So each year the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra puts on a winter festival in January and it's three weeks of concerts usually unified by some sort morning, of theme. Hi, um, this year the theme is music from the stage. Good morning everybody. To bring music that's written for opera or ballet out of the pit uh, to the center stage. Shen's been conducting opera all across the world, from Europe to China. Uh, this summer she'll be conducting at Santa Fe Opera and she's really got a passion for the form and it was really exciting for her to come here and bring some of that passion back to New Jersey Symphony Orchestra and her home. Shen conducted one of classical music's most emotional and romantic scores for the stage, Prokofiev's music for the ballet Romeo and Juliet. This music is really visual. It just fills, it fills you with emotions and, and love. And, and it's really the, probably the most tender love scene that you can hear in all of the repertoire. I believe Prokofiev is one of the greatest masters to capture the colors from their orchestra. I do love uh, Russian composers being music, that's true. Yeah. That's a good observation. <laughs> About five years ago, I conducted uh, the entire ballet with La Scala uh, Ballet in Milan, but I was so impressed by the whole production. After doing that, when I picked movements out of that large of a score, it, it became so personal. Shen selected seven excerpts from Prokofiev's Romeo and Juliet for the NJSO Winter Festival. Here are just a few highlights. So the first movement is Montagues and Caplet. It's the two families' last names. And it gets into this very big gestured dance. Yum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum, ba bum. Everybody who, who you know, has even heard the name of Romeo and Juliet would know this tune. The next movement uh, is a very delicate, very difficult to play movement. It's called the Juliet uh, as a young girl. I think he tried to depict how lively and how energetic and sparkly she was as a girl. So uh, in all of this movement, you have the violins running this little dun da 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 bum 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 And the notes are very random. So this is a hard movement for the players. They have to really learn the notes. So the fifth movement we picked uh, will be Romeo and Juliet at the balcony. And to me, uh, this is the most touching and uh, heartfelt moment in the whole ballet. But this music is, is so filled with love and so soft. Um, it has this running heartbeat, sort of a boom, 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 boom. Very lightly, sort of bouncing through the movement. But then comes the timings with the, uh, the violins and they come in with this big roman romantic line. Uh, it's just, just beautiful.
end, the very final one. This is my personal choice actually to end with the death of Tibalt because uh, it's the loudest ending, but it's very, very effective. Uh, towards the end, uh, you, you hear this huge, huge line, very slow, by the trumpet and the violins and horns. Um, then the piece will be ending sort of in, in, in glory, in a way, musically speaking. Thank <laughs> you.